Back in 2017, I made a video saying I was done with soda forever. Turns out that wasn't true. Everybody loves a good boogster video, right? Everybody loves listening to me talk about Boogie, because I'm Boogie's number one fan. And I just think Boogie does everything in his life just absolutely A+. Plus. Way to go, Boogster. That's where the video should end, right? We should all just sing Kumbaya and dance into a sunset. Unfortunately, we have to watch Boogie talk about relationships, drink Mountain Dew, be friends with wings. I mean, there's really just no good outcome that we're going to witness here. But luckily, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take your hand and I'm going to guide you through it. And I just have to say right from the get-go... Mountain Dew Zero, straight dookie, straight dookie. Now, I'm not a big soda guy anymore, but when I was humongous, Mountain Dew, ooh, fuck yeah. I'm fucking with Mountain Dew. Ma Diet Mountain Dew, bleh, gross. Mountain Dew Zero, even worse, even worse. It's like Lysol, it's gross, all right? Now, Boogie should be a professional, right? He should have the, the palate of a god, but... Every other video of Boogie's, uh, what happened to your shaman, you know, trance you were put in? I threw away all of the disgusting chemical food I have. I'm just eating grass out of the backyard. I'm grazing like a cow. Just, just clearing all of the fauna that is in, <laughs> in our yard. You know, that's, that's, that's what Boogster said he was doing. But no, no, no. He has to do a Mountain Dew review video because... That's what the fans want, and he is just looking out for his fans. M minus the fact that his videos are averaging like 15,000 views. <laughs> minus that, you know, he's he's still chugging along, literally and metaphorically. So, let's see what Booster has to say about all these different flavors of Mountain Dew. Oh, like carbonated poison. Oh my god, that is so sweet. Uh, I haven't been diabetic for like five years but I feel like I'm about to be right after this video. I've drank a couple times in the last year during the holidays to impress my girlfriend's family because they are drinkers for sure, I, but I've never gotten used to it. Oh, which makes me a super taster according to one of my doctors. That means I can taste a lot of things other people can't taste like hints and notes and that's probably why I got up to 600 pounds. Oh, that's good. I actually had to send somebody to the store to pick one up because I cannot keep these in the house because addiction is a real thing, y'all. Oh, I'm going to be blasting this all over the toilet when I'm done. I have to pee really bad. This just tastes like, because if you drink enough of this, you're going to be using those motorized wheelchairs they got at Walmart. Please consider dropping a like or becoming a channel member, or at least sharing this with somebody you think would find this amusing. I think it was going to taste good. My dog's asshole would have tasted good. And trust me, my dog's asshole tastes bad. And I'm going to die really soon. <laughs> really glad this video is over. I hopefully will never have another Mountain Dew again. Unless this video goes viral. Well, it didn't go viral, Boogie. Don't worry. You don't have to be concerned about consuming toxic chemicals anymore. You can eat your healthy lifestyle now. Now that this video got, what, like 35,000 views? You can sit comfortably and understand, yeah, finally I can go eat that head of broccoli that has been decaying in my fridge for the last six months. Finally. I've just been hamstrung by the idea that one of my videos might go viral. Boogie, I don't think you've had a video go viral in like five years, all right? So let's pump the brakes a little bit. And I, I don't know. I think it's a bit odd that you're trying to impress your almost prepubescent girlfriend and her family by as a 50-year-old 400-pound monstrosity drinking alcohol you already have enough problems going on in your life buddy i don't think trying to flex that you can drink a fucking miller light is gonna impress their family be like holy shit did you see you guys did you see that massive fuck that just completely trenched in the cushions of our couch just broke the springs underneath did you see he had a fucking light beer <laughs> Oh my god, Bookster, just going off, you just, you're showing that family what's up, and it's, it's cute, you know, he's doing shock jock Andy Kaufman humor, guys, come on, come on, hey, hey, licking dog's asshole, <laughs> 
you're not fucking funny, bro. You're not funny. I'm sorry. You know, and you can watch my video and you can say, well, you're not funny either. Well, that's true, but I'll probably get more videos than you will on this video talking about you. That's a rough reality to probably have to deal with, buddy. Maybe you should get back to licking your dog's asshole on camera, and maybe maybe you'll just have a seer resurgence. You'll be the new shoe nice, but it'll be even more pathetic. Well, I am. I'm saying it, I'm saying okay. that if it, yeah, I'm saying that if you are faking that, if you're making that up, and you, and you post that 20 minutes after somebody's dead, then you're a clout chasing piece. Yeah, of I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think what I'm what I'm getting at is like I just it just seemed a little cowardly to do it now. <laughs> well, you thinking, guys know me. Yeah. I would have just fired a warning shot. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know? Like, I've never took that shit lightly. Like, oh, you want to hurt me? Okay, I'm going to do everything in my power for you not to be able to hurt me. Yeah, wings. Big boy. Big boy. He's going to flex on the haters. Uh, I'm going to make sure that you have no way of hurting me. All right? I'm going to put you in a chilly stranglehold, and I'm going to show you what most definitely is up. Wings, I just have to take like three steps to the side and you're already winded, buddy. All right. I don't think you're going to be able to protect the mobile home and that type of method. Uh, maybe a little bit better than than what Boogie can expect. But, you know, they, they're talking about recent things going on. And you might have been curious of what I thought of their opinions of Vosh and Tipster and whoever else. I'm not fucking touching that cesspool of just complete brain dead mental illness that goes on over there all right i i've got plenty on my plate over here that i can interact with i think i'm gonna keep that to the experts boogie and wings instead they're gonna talk about too mad who uh killed himself basically and uh their their expert opinions about what's going on also something i really have no interest in engaging with just like at all i don't know i mean i they're going to talk about it because it's in the news. You know, I was just reporting the news. It was in the news. But, like, nobody is actually tuning in and saying, Man, I wonder what Boogie thinks of James Ski's tweet about Too Mad. I hope it's really informative and not just some fence-riding opinion that he's just going to revert back <laughs> as soon as he is enlightened with a different point of view. Person. I don't want to even call it a troll, but, like, it was just creepy person that would send me pictures of my house and then he would like send pictures of like weapons in his own house like mm. in that no text nothing my response mm. to this motion sensing floodlights and security cameras so i could see him coming up to my house so i could defend myself you said on the cops it's really a hard issue with cops in my town because of how many you gotta understand there was a period of my life where i had cops come to my house every single day Every gotcha. day. And let me give you let me give it. you some examples of this because some of them are fucking funny, right? PlayStation 5 came out. PlayStation 5 was this item that was basically hoarded or hacked or like gouged. There's a word for it, Boogie. What is it? It's in oh, demand, man. dude. You don't have to really go. You, it's it in demand. demand. People are scalping it. Yeah. People are scalping yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like it was very hard to get a PlayStation 5 on launch day. And I found one and I paid scalper money for it. It was like 900 bucks, right? And I took a picture of it in my truck with like the, it's sitting in the back seat that I, yeah, yeah, I got my PlayStation five. People took this photo and put it on Craigslist and created this narrative that I was a grieving father and that my son had died in a car. <laughs> and like I had bought Christ. this PlayStation five for him. I, I, I like it when someone like to my trolls out there right now, I will retweet you if you are creative and funny about it. Cause that's awesome. Um, it's just I just get tired of the old. You beat women. This isn't, no, this isn't a segue Clearly, for us to talk about trolls, yeah. Boogie. <laughs> no, I, well, I, I, I just want to. I don't want to preface that I couldn't go to the cops for a lot of things because, like yeah. at this point, that yeah. if the cops get called to my house, it's more like they roll their eyes and they just waste their time. Boogie's Boogie's on the case, guys. He's he's there to let you know what what the hip haps are. And I don't know why Wings thought that calling on Boogie at any moment to answer a question during a discussion is ever the correct answer. Boogie looks like he is never paying attention to what the fuck is going on. He has this like pre-formulated idea of a sentence he's going to say. He's going to get really passionate about something and say, Oh, 
fuck you guys, uh, you know, eating chicken and broccoli for dinner every day is the way to go. Not drinking Mountain Dew. Like, that's, that's the type of gist that he's gonna go after. And I gotta ask, I gotta ask you, Boogie, alright? You say, listen, trolls, if you say something funny and interesting, I'll retweet you. I'll like, that's not true, buddy. That's not true. I had a banger tweet. Where, you know, you basically made this gross-ass sketch with your girlfriend saying, Oh, let's go have sex. And then she gets up and runs to the room and then, like, sticks her head out and, like, waves for you to come in. And I took that image of her waving and I put it with the Return the Slab guy from Courage the Cowardly Dog. Fucking banger tweet, alright? I'm not here to stroke my cock all over myself, but... I'm just saying, banger tweet, same motion, wind flowing through the clothes, skeletal figure, I mean, ooh, just on fire, return the slap, buddy. And, and no retweet? No appreciation for your boy? Oh my god, oh my lord. Can't take this shit no more. My lawyers told me, um, at the moment I start interacting with any fan, I ought to start recording, but I'm just, I don't care. I don't care that much. It's not that big. Why not listen to lawyer? Why not listen to lawyer? I, I would if I, were, if I, I had just, those problems. I'd... I just don't care. It's it, like at the end of the day, uh, people have said so much stuff about me that if they made up some fake interaction they supposedly had with me, people number one yeah, are what going if it's to criminal? believe it. What if it's what if it's criminal things? What would some of the cops would be interested in? I, I'd probably do it too. I don't know. I mean, I've, I think, had, I've, I've, had, had, I've had some fans do some creepy sh- here, Boogie. I don't understand this whole, like, dick measuring contest that they're trying to masquerade going on here of, yeah, we're interacting with fans all the time. Now, Wings, I don't doubt, because 99% of the prominent trolls in Wings' this community are, like, clinically brain, like, rot. They, they have something wrong upstairs that they're so obsessed with Fat Man. Boogie... I don't think I've ever heard of a story of Boogie interacting with a fan, alright? I haven't heard it, I haven't seen him tweet about it, I haven't seen him talk about it in a video, I don't. I haven't seen him collaborate with some fan, and uh, it just hasn't happened, alright? And he's gonna go on and tell all these stories of people showing up to his house and, and doing X, Y, and Z, and it's like, Boogie, my, my, my main man, alright? You grew influence based off of a handful of articulated, algorithm-based commentary skits of a character named Francis, right? And you had some fat guy other clips, right? Those were the, those, That's what propelled you to where you are today. There are some other things built in there. Don't, don't get me wrong. You had genuine fans at one point. You're pulling similar numbers to me, right? I'm like one one thousandth the size of you. When I leave to go to work, I'm not getting stopped in the street by some deranged person sitting outside waiting for me to come out. Alright, that's not what's happening. You're over the hill, you're like six feet under, and you're five and a half feet under. So, I don't know. Let's, Let's pump the brakes on all these fake stories, fake drama going on here. No, and I was one of his victims, not like you, but I was one of his victims too. So I'm kind of wearing with a, ba- uh, a badge of honor now. I don't, I don't stay mad like Wings does for years. No, know? I don't get mad at those motherfuckers anymore. Like, like at this point, it's like, oh, somebody's gonna talk bad about you on the internet. I'm like, what is it, Tuesday? You quit your podcast. <laughs> yeah, my own fucking podcast will talk shit about me. It's like I don't think there's a day goes by that there's not somebody just mad at me for no fucking reason <laughs> people are just wings. people are mad that i exist people are mad that i make youtube videos people are mad that i'm dating somebody every day that i wake up someone's fucking mad that i did and i think it's the best i think it's actually really funny no you don't I, you start I, lying and that's what gets you guys in trouble you lie for defensive reasons yep that's exactly and then what it I just did. incites and it, it incites everybody he's making it about himself again all right, don't worry. All right, I know you were concerned. You're like, oh, maybe Boogie will actually let somebody else talk about something. No, 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 no. He also is. He 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 lashes out because he's defensive, guys. Come on, you know he likes it when trolls, you know, critique him. But and, and this is going back to what I just said. This whole thing doesn't make any sense because these two bozos aren't like polling this massive audience of people who are just flooding in to pay attention to them. 
They got the same group of people and they're not expanding any further. This podcast, failure, all right? We've all understood that. They're getting not even 40,000 views a video. Wings was talking about, oh yeah, that Wendigoon one, that's gonna be at 60,000 by the weekend. It's over a week and it's not even at 50,000, all right? The podcast is dead on arrival. Nobody wants to listen to what these people have to say. The whole point of the podcast was basically to get people in there to flame them and make fun of them for all the stupid, heinous shit that they do. Boogie thinks that there are haters out there that don't want him to make videos. Nobody gives a flying fuck when you're doing a Magic the Gathering unboxing of a booster box, bro. Alright? Yeah, you get hate for dating a 20-year-old because you're emotionally manipulating her. And a 30-year difference when she's almost under the age of consent is pretty fucking weird, dude. Alright? We're just, we're just laying all the cards on the line, alright? You can say, oh, you know, we have this really strong connection where we're really investing in each other. Uh, yeah, you're invested in making her go to the fucking store and buy you Mountain Dew because you're too lazy to do it yourself, you fat fuck. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I, I'm at a point where I think, and I think, uh, I think, it, I think it's when you get to the top like that and you have everything all the time. You access, start trying. Right. You're you like, well, trying. let me try something weird, man. Yeah, I don't think a, I don't think a like a, a working man who's working two jobs to support his family has time to really get into weird butt stuff or whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's the difference between degeneracy and society. It's having too much time and money. That's what allows you to become a degenerate. Uh, of course, I mean that's what Boogie. That's how Boogie became the degenerate he is. But of course, he's going to pretend like that's different now. Hmm. He's going to say back in, back in the days when he was rich and banging hookers every day and taking them on trips. Yeah, he was just rich and, and had too much time on his hands. But nowadays when he's dating a 20 year old and has her move in with him after three months and, you know, is, is this weird father daughter connection between each other. She's never had a father figure in her life. She's never had a relationship prior to this, but that's normal guys. Don't worry. There's, there's no manipulation. There's nothing heinous going on behind the scenes. We don't have a Vosh situation, right? It's, it's nothing like that. How dare you make that very simple leap across a one foot wide creek to try and understand this. That's just, that's just stupid of you. We're all so stupid and dumb. I'm always disappointed that I never got to like you know, get the Muslim girl. I never Why? landed the Muslim girl. Oh like, I, yeah. You know like, what she looks like. You gotta take off all that garb. How do you know? Well, I was like an alluring, like like ooh, like that's a that's a life goal. You're a fucking disgusting person. Yeah. <laughs> How's that disgusting? That thing's there for their modesty, and you're trying to violate it. What the yeah. fuck matter with you, man? <laughs> trying to get a dog. Shocker, shocker that wings would just be completely uncharacteristically offensive towards a group of people. Now, Wings doesn't know what modesty is. He's uh, constantly trying to get his dick hard because he can't have sex with Kelly. So instead of trying to lose weight to, you know, recirculate the blood flow to his cock, instead he's going to fantasize about dominating over some hapless, you know, burqa-wearing Muslim woman in some third world country. <laughs> That's Wings' ideal scenario. He's thinking, damn, why can't I live in Indonesia where I can just whip her with sticks when she tries to teach girls mathematics? We can't be having that go <laughs> on. I, I mean, I don't know. Wings loves the idea of somebody really stupid, really dumb like himself, being able to take advantage of somebody who is probably better looking, uh, has, has, if given the opportunity, would be, uh, you know, more courageous, have more opportunities in their lives. He loves the idea that he can just squish them down and say, uh, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? That's what Wings loves. He loves the idea of just pure domination over somebody more hapless than him. I, you know, you make me glad. Hey, Mary. if you really <laughs> want to get like randy about it, what you do is you cut a no. water bottle in half and then just show the top of the water bottle so it looks like you're eight inches. Because a water bottle is seven and a half inches long. <laughs> what? How do you know this? <laughs> what? <laughs> How do you know this? Because Tommy, I got a, I got a big dick and like I, I, oh, yeah, I a big old dick. My dick's about the horse. size of a water bottle and like. Have you um, tried this? Have you tried this before? Sometimes, yes. sometimes okay. women ask for it. Yeah, sure, bullshit. You want to uh, see what you do it yourself. Nobody, no women ask for that. Give you some shit to hate on right now. If I wasn't married, 
it would take me less than a day to have at least three girls lined up in my phone. Oh, get out of here. I believe no, no, him. Go with you. Nope. I believe him. him. I, I, I don't know. You know, I don't know that. Maybe you're right because I had a buddy um, dead on Dave, right? And uh, I served in the army with him. And when I met, he had um, a whole bunch of fucked up shit happened to him with operations and drugs he had to take to deal with the operations. So he blew, he blew up to like 400, 500 pounds. He's down, but he weighs less than I do now. But he would always say these poker games, like, I goes, I could, if I wasn't married, I could pull a chick right now. I could do it right now. He said, oh, get over yourself, Dave. You're 400 pounds, you can barely stand up. Well, as soon as he lost the weight, and he was pulling chicks left and right. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I, 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 I'll, I'll say this, and this is my call bullshit if you won't, Tommy. But, like, if my wife would divorce me right now and you challenge me 12 hours to get a date. Yeah, you're 30 some year old. You'd probably get a date. I mean, I get one hundred percent date within yeah, 12 hours. Yeah, yeah, but you'd be lucky to get an Arkansas eight. I'm going to be honest. Like, and, right, and yeah, people yeah, point out, yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah. I wouldn't even want what you date. Like I like what I like, dude. You like what you like. I like even fat a, yeah. chicks. Like, like even really? if I was, is that is that something I one hundred percent love fat chicks. Really? Like, like if I was one hundred eighty pounds, body of an Adonis, I would still go after girls that are like. But you wouldn't take some twenty five year old girl. To look no, no, no. Like let me, let me, let me, let me be specific. I couldn't climb the mountain known as Tammy Slayton. I like <laughs> girls that are more like two hundred pounds, maybe two fifty. <laughs> Uh, you know, like, oh, okay. yeah, but like, there's so some you, girls out there that are way too big for even me. Fat chicks, because that's his only option. He has no other ability. He could never. All right. If you're out there, you have a wife, you have a girlfriend, you have somebody that you, you know, maybe are hooking up with whatever's going on. Right. And let's say she's, I don't know, below the BMI of 20. All right. That's a good threshold. That's not necessarily skinny, but that ain't fat. Wings has a 0% chance of pulling her. Zero. There is no chance on earth, unless she's mentally deranged like Boogie's girlfriend, that he could pull a girl like that. So of course he's going to say, oh, I love fat chicks. I'm really into fat chicks because that's your only option, buddy. It's either that or your right hand or a man. So I don't know. Make up your mind, I guess. But the the whole time, you know, this is, this is how I know that you're not going to be able to pull a... Uh, desirable chick i guess by society standards is that you're 40 years old and you constantly talk about your cock size like anybody gives a flying fuck like anybody gives a fuck nobody gives a shit about your dick size except for you and whores that's it <laughs> Nobody else gives a shit. As long as your dick ain't an inch long, you're good to go, buddy. All right? You can figure it out. Saying, I got a pretty big dick. It's as big as a water bottle. It's as big as a water bottle. I'm, I'm so... Kelly, don't you think? I'm, I don't know. I don't know. She hasn't seen it before, buddy, because you two don't have sex. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe try and make it more believable, dude. All right? And yes, you're allowed to have no shame and say... Yeah, I can get three girls. They're not going to be what you guys think are hot, but it's fine for me. That's cool. But you're trying to inflate it by saying, yeah, I'm into them. They're they're sexy hot to me. You know, when we're breaking the foundation under the mobile trailer palace that I live in. Oh, yeah, that's getting me going. Then I can go on my stream right afterwards after we eat a couple Big Macs in bed. And I can say, hey, fans, I need money because my foundation is slipping into the earth. I need your help, all right? Me and Kelly went sheboinkin' in the bed, all right? I need I need your support, and if you don't give me money, I'm going to cry and complain. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you want to see my exact type, it's Desi. I mean, you know, I mean, I like, she does look younger. <laughs> that's not, that's I'm not, not comfortable like with that part, but, like, Just I like. Just graduated high school. I like that she's skinny. Yeah. I like that she's, yeah. uh, I love her red hair. I love her uh, beautiful I like smile. Just, I love just her eyes, right? Pictures. That's incredible, you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah okay fine whatever you know like she, i would take i would take her to her prom that would be awkward but i'd do it fuck it let's go but so I, you're trying I, to tell me that you tell me that you treated your <laughs> better than your ex-wife like the ah, hookers ah, got bags ah, i mean who howers and jenners and i shit. bet you get 10 grand to blow you <laughs> what what you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, and I, I'm not here to sh talk my ex-wife because she earned every penny because she helped me build that yeah, business. Yeah, but she, and but she okay? didn't get a. She but didn't at get the end of the day, she school. walked out. She walked out with a quarter million dollars. There ain't no on the planet that got a quarter million oh, that's dollars. True. Yeah. You like Desi so much because she looks identical to your ex-wife. You clearly still have some suppressed. Uh, 
I don't know if it's anger necessarily, but emotional trauma from your ex-wife divorcing you because she was disgusted by the relationship she had with you. That's pretty obvious. So you try and find somebody more shattered and broken than you, and it just so happened to be Desi. And I, uh, I seem to remember you getting pretty heated with Keemstar about him saying your your girlfriend looks young and now you're changing your tune and you're saying yeah she looks young and i'm not very comfortable with that hmm, hmm that, that's weird boogie why would you be saying that right now is it because you're afraid because of all the other people that are getting exposed uh i.e vosh for being attracted to these young looking creatures now it's slightly different because desi is of age but are, are you trying to take a step back and say, no, nah, I'm not into the idea of, uh, you know, having fellatio with somebody that looks uh, pretty young, you know, looks like she's finishing her Algebra 1 class. You know, I'm not comfortable with that, of course. Uh, sure, buddy. You like her because she looks just like your ex-wife, you freak. Wrong. Yeah, you ain't wrong. Like, it's so funny because a lot of these guys that tell me, Good, get a job, get a job, get a job. Some of them are hardworking people, but some of them are sitting there on fucking Twitter all day saying that shit. Some of them are 32 in their parents' house. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wishing, yeah. Wish, wishing they were you. Right. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. at the yeah. end of the day, you can say what you want to about the lol cows on this show right now, but all three of us are getting late on Valentine's Day, so enjoy. No, enjoy. I'm not. I'm getting late 10 minutes late. Oh, I definitely am. <laughs> I definitely, I definitely oh, yeah, am. So. Sorry, Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah, hit, hit it for me, Boogie. Hit it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, yeah. Definitely having sex, guys. I'm cool, right? You guys think I'm cool? Having sex is epic tubes. It's most definitely what is up. And guess what, Boogie? Uh, I had sex on Valentine's Day. Not to flex. Not to... Because, uh, you know, when you become an adult man... Trying to own trolls by saying I have sex with somebody that wants to have sex with me is not as big of a epic burn on <laughs> on the trolls as you think it is, buddy. All right, and it's rich coming from somebody that averages like thirty tweets a day for trying to say Ah, you trolls are on Twitter and Reddit all day. That's what you do, buddy. The difference is your trolls are probably a, at least a hundred pounds lighter than you. <laughs> So, like, who's the real loser here? You don't have any money. They don't have any money. But at least their mom's buying them Hot Pockets and they're not afraid of getting kicked out of the house. Damn. You know, figure your shit out before you throw rocks in the glass house, you fat loser. Yo, yeah, here. You, Go ahead. Here. You can't be yelling at my man. Yes, I can. That's no, what I, they told me to do that. They told me. They pay me. They're, no, they're paying. No, no. They're paying me, he Kelly. He was fighting for your rights, too. And you want to yell at him. <laughs> was it a union? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Boogie, I know you're not laughing. Because I'm mad of at course, you about uh, last night. Oh, you can be as mad at me as you want. It's, it's still funny. <laughs> It's still fun. I like you and Kelly. It Kelly, Kelly, I really, I like you. Lost medication. It was for my diabetes. I oh. know that was a joke, Kelly. Well, well, I like, I like you a lot, Kelly. I always have. I, yeah. I, when you, I, I, a couple of years ago, you took the stream over for wings. I, I thought it was really cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, oh. and Kelly, I met you. I talked to you. I think you're amazing. I, I yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make but, offensive uh, jokes. You can be bad as, as you want, but I still got nothing but love and respect for you. And I'm I, that's sorry, not gonna change. Date skinny girls. You get like a single person on the show who's in like an acceptable weight range. Is that just not allowable? I know Kelly's losing weight, so maybe she'll dump Richard at some point. We can only hope for that, but I don't know what's going on. They're trying to unionize or something, trying to own Keemstar. Keemstar is going to walk you like a fucking dog whenever he wants because you're all pathetic losers. Maybe not Tommy as much, but the other two, you're getting fucking whipped into shape, you know? Wings is going to cry and sob and still come back to the channel because what else is he going to fucking do? He streams for four hours, you know, every week. He has nothing better to do. Oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go play Dark Souls in the dark room all by myself. Oh, cool. That's epic. And Boogie, you know, your, your girlfriend's still not out of fucking school yet. So you got to wait until her school bus shows up before you can go play with her. So I don't know. Either way, I might've been a little bit harsh on everybody here but as you know boogie just f tier person i just can't stand him anytime i listen to him talk it's just irritable and it makes me laugh that <laughs> just some of the things i say about him i don't know either way i hope you guys enjoyed the video until next time i'll talk to you guys later peace